by because it purifies the heart, purifies the consciousness, and allows that pure divine love that's in everyone's heart to come out naturally. Right now, that pure divine love is not coming out purely, it's not coming out divinely because of the negative things in our heart. So it comes out sometimes as anger, sometimes as politics, or harsh words, or envy. So the mantra purifies the heart chakra, opens it up so that divine love can flow naturally. And when that happens, we feel ecstatic bliss. And everyone experiences, wow, what a nice person. So sweet, so full of affection, so warm, always happy. A representative of the sunshine, <laughs> bringing sunlight and energy everywhere. So we want to stay connected to the mantra. So, <laughs> You had a good time? Yes. Very good, thank you very much. Would you like to take me home with you? <laughs> so we could always chant together? Yeah. Well, you can, because we do have CDs that we've brought. And this way you can always stay connected to the mantra uh, at home, and especially when you're driving in your car. Sometimes we go for long drives, and we can stay connected to the spiritual sound vibration instead of being connected to the material sound vibration. The material sound vibration doesn't purify the heart, doesn't open up the heart chakra, doesn't make us feel blissful. It's temporary because it's material. But if we're connected to the spiritual sound vibration, then what we are experiencing is more joyful than joyful. It's supremely joyful. And everything we do will become joyful. And that joy increases more and more. There's no end to it. It's inexhaustible because it's spiritual. Remember? Spiritual. It's eternal. Only the material has a beginning and an end. But the spiritual, no end. It's always increasing. Whereas the material, everything is decreasing until it comes to an end. And that end we call? Death. Death. So, that was a brief introduction. My wife has also brought the latest fashions from India and Brazil. So if the ladies want to have a look, she can show you. So if there are any questions, we can do a short Q&A otherwise. Without any questions. One more? We can do one more then. Okay. <laughs> you know what happens when the heart chakra opens up and we all become purified by the chanting of the mantra? You know what happens? There's less mugging and more hugging. <laughs> and that's what we need in America, right? Less mugging and more hugging. <laughs> after me, Om Namo, Om Namo. Bhagavate, Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Well, I have to admit, you guys are really good at Sanskrit. We have a good teacher. Sorry? We have a good teacher. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> But when the student is that good, the teacher shouldn't take the credit. <laughs> so, because it's Sanskrit, some people are thinking, well, I don't know what it is, what the meaning is. But you know, 
the, ma the mantra is so potent, you don't have to understand the meaning. You don't even have to have faith in the mantra. And I'll give you an example from your own life just to make it clear. Everyone has experienced a headache, a heavy headache, right? What do we do? We go to the pharmacy, we get a tablet, read the instructions, take it with water, the headache goes away. Everybody have that experience? Who knows what's in that tablet? Who knows how it works in the body to take away the headache? Nobody. Do you have to know? No, it works whether you know or not. Even if you don't believe this will take away my headache, it takes away your headache. You don't have to have faith in it. You don't have to believe in it. You don't have to understand it. It works. Why does it work? Because it's science. It's scientific. Same with the mantra. You don't have to understand it. You don't have to have faith in it. But it works. And since I've been doing it, this is my fifth decade of doing it. And I know some of you won't believe that because I look like I'm 39, but actually... <laughs> I'm not. <clears throat> so just chant the mantra. You don't have to understand it. You don't have to have faith in it. You get the result. So this is one. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya.
together stays together so let us pray together and stay together in other words always be connected we may not be connected physically but we'll always be connected spiritually by thinking of, of, of each other being the well-wisher of each other chanting the mantras and connect, connecting to the Supreme because we're all connected to the Supreme and therefore we're all connected to each other. Let's not become disconnected. We become disconnected when we notice that the negative things begin to arise in the heart. I may speak harshly. I may see the faults of other people. We want, to be, we want to guard against these things because it doesn't hurt anyone else if I speak badly about them or I do politics against them, but it hurts me because it stops my progressive advancement in spiritual life. It stops me from experiencing that eternal, blissful uh, nature that I am eternally uh, part of. So, I like to use this analogy that every negative thought and every negative word and every negative action is just another brick in the wall that separates us from the eternity, from divine love, from God. So the practice of bhakti yoga is to dismantle that wall so we can have union. That's yoga. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Philosophy Pavilion is a beautiful wife, Kishori. And there's uh, two ways to get more of Yasaki. One of the ways is tomorrow night at uh, Govinda's. He'll be um, having kirtan again and speaking on the origin of kirtan. And that's at 5.30. And another way, as he mentioned, um, taking one of his CDs home. They live very humbly in India, and they come here to um, spread this mantra and so many uh, beautiful words and inspiration, and they just support themselves by uh, selling their books and CDs. So if uh, anyone would like to help in that way, it would be greatly appreciated. And I think he'll be around for a little while to um, talk to everyone or introduce you to some of his CDs and which one you would like to take home. Let's have a big hand from Gore. Yes. Yes. He came all the way from Paris. He's, he's French. He came all the way from Paris. Not yesterday. He's, he lives in Tucson. He lives in Tucson now, so he's one of your local people. So he's if you ever want now. a drummer, you know who to contact. He's your man. Or. Ganga Mantri, also another wonderful drummer at Golden oh. yeah, at the board. Disappeared. Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right then. Thank you. Thank God you. bless. Thank you.